Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick way to do some cross-browser compatibility testing for your website. Now, the reason you want to do this is before you launch a website, or even if you have an existing one, you want to make sure it works on as many different devices and screen sizes and browsers as possible because you just don't know where your customers are coming from or where your website visitors are coming from. You want to make sure everybody has a great user experience. That's why we do browser compatibility testing. And if you have a lot of browsers installed on your computer, for example, I have Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and on my Windows computer, I have also, in, in, in addition to those ones, I've got Internet Explorer and some other small time browsers. And that's great. You can open your browser in each one of those and see how it functions. But there's a much easier method even though it's not as interactive because when you're testing in a browser you can actually interact with elements you can resize it to see what happens what you can do that's less interactive is use a service called browsershots.org which is right here and all you have to do is enter your URL in this field I copied it earlier just gonna paste it in and down below you can choose a mind-boggling number of options for different browsers. So I just keep the ones checked that are already checked. The ones that are not checked, because you'll see that some of them are just not checked. Ice Ape 2.0 is not checked. Aurora 0.1 is not checked. Those are browsers that are very old that are less likely to be used by anybody on the planet but there might be somebody in Siberia or somewhere that's still using that one particular browser. Browser Shots doesn't feel that that browser is used enough to make it worthwhile to check it by default. At the very bottom of the page, you have some more options. You can choose screen size that you want to test. You could choose color depth that you want to, to test. You could choose JavaScript abilities that you want to test and Java and Flash. So there's a bunch of extra options that you can use. I usually don't mess with those, at least on the first go through. I enter my URL at the top, click on submit, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to pause this video and come back when it's all done. Okay, we're back. And we have currently, out of 136 browsers, we have 46 images uploaded. And the queue time that they estimated for me was 2 minutes and 14 seconds, but so far it's taken 12 minutes. And my queue expires in 2 minutes because we're using the free option. So before my queue expires, I'm just going to show you the results that we have. And we already have a whole lot of images to work with. And just by taking just a cursory glance, they all look about the same. They all seem to render the way we expect them. Some of them are blank that could either be an error in their system or it could be that on Firefox 33 Windows 8 release 2 or Windows 2008 release 2 that the site may not work so to confirm that to be 100% sure we have to find that configuration and test it ourselves unless you have hundreds of these blank pages I wouldn't worry about it worry about the majority of these screenshots being correct the ones that have formatting issues or something like that, correct those. The ones that are blank, I don't suggest you spend too much time worrying about those. If you click on any of these images, you'll be taken to a larger version of that image. So you can take a closer look at what that screenshot is and to see if there are any errors. That's how you use the browsershots.tool.org. It's pretty basic. There isn't that much to it, but it allows you to see how your site looks in a whole bunch of different browsers in a small amount of time. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this all the time, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.